Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. So we made it to the end of a week. <clears throat> and for those of you who are counting the hours till 5 o'clock, <laughs> I'm hoping you make it through one more day. All right. So I want to get into something today that you all need to be aware of and probably a little more detailed than you currently are aware of. <clears throat> so let me ask you this. Do you know who Steven Schwartzman is? Probably not. Probably never heard the name. You know his company. Guarantee that. Schwartzman is the founder and the CEO of Blackstone Group. Yeah, that one. Okay. I'm going to give you just a touch of history. Blackstone's been around since 1985. They started the company back then with about $400 million. Not bad in 1985. Not bad now. Currently now, they have over $900 billion in assets, all right? And you all think of them as the big holders of real estate, <clears throat> and that is true, all right? But I want to give you a quick idea of some of the sum. This is, I mean, trust me, if I went through all the companies they either own or are majority shareholders of, it be a 15-minute video. But I'm going to give you a whole name of some of them, all right? And think of which ones you know, all right? Allied Waste, Allied Barton Security Services, Graham Packaging, Selenies, Nalco, Health Markets, Houghton Mifflin, <clears throat> American Axle, TRW Automotive, Catalent Pharma Solutions, Prime Hospitality, Legoland, Madame Tussauds, Luxury Resorts, Pinnacle Foods, Hilton Hotels, Motel 6, Apria Healthcare, Travelport, The Weather Channel, okay, how about Vivint, okay, those of you in Utah, you might know that one, you know, the stadium's named after that company, uh, you know, notice that a lot of these aren't Real estate, okay, sure, there's a couple of hotels and motels in there, but you know, you're not hearing anything about houses. Now, I'll give you another good one that they own. This one might throw you for a curve. Ancestry.com, you know, that home DNA test you take? This is who you're writing those checks to. This is who you're giving your DNA to, okay? I want to give you another one here. Schwartzman and the folks at Blackstone are very, very strong supporters of the Democrat Party. Does that surprise anybody? You know, remember, the party of millionaires and billionaires is supposed to be the GOP. And funny, Zuckerberg, Bezos, Gates, Buffett, mm, Schwartzman. Blackstone has very significant ties to some very interesting names in the Democrat Party, i.e. the Clintons and the Obamas. They meet, their board meets regularly with the Obamas and the Clintons. Hmm. Okay. Blackstone has also held in the past when Hillary was running for office, held fundraisers for Hillary. They want that <clears throat> uber communist socialist criminal cartel running the country. Why? Oh, I don't know. It ties in a little bit with you'll own nothing and be happy. Blackstone will own everything. Okay. So this is where it comes into play right now. We all know the economy is in the toilet. We all know that the housing market is in a bubble, regardless of what some people will say. I mean, it's just, it's insane to see what housing, what places are asking for in the way of houses at this point and getting it, right? <clears throat> well... Our buddy, Mr. Schwartzman here, has come out and get this. 
they've put together $50 billion to buy real estate as soon as the crash happens. Now, y'all know Blackstone goes in and buys entire neighborhoods at a time. They outbid people for houses constantly. Now, how are, when, the, when the real estate crash, the real estate market crashes, the housing market crashes, think 2008, 2009. And I told you the story once before about my neighbors when I lived in Vegas, and they had actually had to raise their own bid on their house so that a mortgage company would finance them. Okay? They won the house at $96,000. The mortgage company wouldn't write a note unless it was $100,000, so they had to take a $100,000 note. <coughs> And at least a couple of years ago, uh, you know, the house is worth at least a quarter million bucks. Okay, Not a bad return for 12 years at the time, 13 maybe. Okay, you know, 150% return. That's exactly what Blackstone has got going on right here. They are waiting, they are raising cash to buy your apartment complex your house, your neighbor's house, every other house in your neighborhood, on the cheap. So when it comes time to the Great Reset, what you will have, even if you own your house outright, all your neighbors will now be renters. Okay, now there's nothing wrong with renting. Don't get me wrong, all right? I was a renter for many, many, many years of my life. Not a problem. But there's a big difference when you're in a community and renters don't necessarily concern themselves with taking care of the property as much as a homeowner will. Renters certainly aren't spending money to landscape or you know, do anything like that. Ren renters are transitory. They're there for a year or two and they leave. You have evictions, you have whatever it would be. That's just the nature of the beast. And again, no offense to people at rent, been there, done that. Okay. Some people are very respectable. They've been renting for their entire lives and they're very respectable. Some people aren't. We all know that. Okay. But here's the issue they're trying to get us all to be renters. Again, talking about Rudy's thing the other day. You know, Rudy's video in that interview that I said is feasible. It's not enforceable, but it's feasible. If they're going to come take everybody's property, what are they going to do with it? You know, let, let's hypothetically say that this Gideon guy is right. <clears throat> and they're going to confiscate everybody's property. Well, they're not going to confiscate it and burn it to the ground and let trees grow back. That's not the idea. The idea is to confiscate it so one centralized organization, i.e. something like Blackstone, can now manage it and it can be rented right back to you if you want to. You even paid for the house, but now you've got to rent your own house because they have, they've confiscated it. That's what it's going like. I want you to pay attention to what's going on in your area, you know. Look at who the buyers are. Anybody can go look up tax records and see who owners of properties are. That's very simple. All right. But then the other thing, and this is this is what where I say pay attention to the economy all the time. This is planned. We know this is planned. All right. They are trying to that they, the elites, the World Economic Forum, the Clintons, the Obamas, the Bidens, that cartel is trying to force people into bankruptcy. And slowly they're doing well. <clears throat> Give you this right now, the auto industry. Okay. You know, a lot of people have cars financed. Right now, 10% of the cars on the road that are financed are delinquent in their loan payments. Right? Now, I know a lot of people are going to come up and say, oh, those are the guys that buy their cars at the tote the note lots, you know, the buy here, pay here places. Sure, those are a lot of them. 11% of the delinquencies are subprime loans. 
Here's the interesting part. Prime loans, okay? The ones, you know, people with good credit or whatever, you know, have their 0% interest for 48 months or now 72 months or 84 months or the rest of your life, whatever it would be. <clears throat> Those delinquencies have doubled from 2% to 4%. If people can't for, afford their vehicle, well, you need that vehicle to go to work. You need that vehicle to go to the grocery store. If you need that vehicle to go to work, and you can't go to work anymore. Now you don't have any money. Now you can't pay your mortgage. Now you can't pay your rent. And Schwartzman's sitting there going like this, going, come on, Joe, keep crashing the economy. I'm going to buy all this stuff cheap. What did I say a year ago, <clears throat> year, year and a half ago, that we're going to all hit? <clears throat> Sorry. We're going to, you know, this is what they're waiting for. So we get a bunch of Gatesvilles and Zuckerbergbergs and, you know, Bezos towns. Schwartzmanvilles, too. Okay. This is what they're looking for. This is is exactly what is in play. This is all right in front of our eyes. And nobody's doing anything about it. I'm all for a guy making a buck, okay? Work hard, invest smart, do something good with your money, make your money work for you. Hey, I'm all for it. But I am absolutely against somebody making a buck by screwing somebody else to do it, all right? You want to work hard and earn good money? Hey, great. It's what I tried to do my entire life. Right? You want to make make money by screwing other people? There's a cold place in hell for you. This is the criminal cartel that is at work right in front of you. Tied in to the Obamas. Tied in to the Clintons. They're not tied into the Bidens. Bidens are puppets. I mean... You know, it's a competition there who's who's got less active brain cells between Joe and Jill. Dr. Jill. You know, Dr. Seuss is a, goes by doctor, too. You know, that's redfish, bluefish. But, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry. I know some of you are going to say, eh, nah, you should edit that out. Tough. Okay. That's what's coming, guys. If you're in the market for real estate, just to know who you're going to be bidding against, you know, if you have the chance to get it now, if you're still looking at moving, do it quickly, okay? Because if and when it all goes to shit, which probably will, I don't know, then you're going to say, well, then I'm upside down. Then you may not be able to buy it all. $50 billion buys a whole lot of real estate. Okay. And they're not going after the Empire State Building. Right? They're going after Ma and Pa Kettle's house. They're going after that local apartment complex. Now, fortunately, for those looking at real estate, they're probably not looking at too much out in the country. They're looking at more, I'm assuming here, urban and suburban areas because that's where they want to move all the people. So you need to be doing the opposite. Again, we need to stay one step ahead of them and knowing what they're doing, because it's out there in plain sight. You just got to put the puzzle pieces together. But think about this. When you have a company that's buying real estate, medical facilities, pharmaceutical companies, collecting DNA because you gave it to them voluntarily... That every time I see those ancestry or was it or you and me one two three or whatever the hell is I'm like how stupid can you be okay but people do it know what companies you're doing business with because some of them are trying to help you most of them don't have your best interest in mind if you want to be a puppet. If you want to be a robot for the World Economic Forum, just keep going about life blindly. If you want to maintain your independence, your freedom, your self-identity, 
you need to fight against these cartels. We'll see you later. Pinball out.